Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day four of the Leaco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, so today, well, so right now is November 3rd, Sunday in New York City, even though we're doing day four. Uh, the New York Marathon is today, so there, it was a very fun time. I was just out there cheering people on, now having the empathy to kind of relate to these people. Uh, so yeah, just cheering them on. It was very fun to watch. There's so much energy uh, and very exciting. That's basically my day. So I'm, so I'm uh, and I ate a lot and I kind of rested. But man, I am, I don't know. I'm ready to look, take a look at this farm. So let's go. Today we have 3163 string compression 3. Given a string word, compress it using the following algorithm. Begin with an empty string comp. Okay, I don't know why that is. Well, word is not empty. Use the following operation. Return a maximum length prefix of word that may... That... What? We move, we move a maximum length prefix of word made of a single character C repeating at most nine times. Append the length of the prefix followed by C to comp. Okay. So you remove 1A, 1B... Okay, and you try to remove nine eight at a time. Okay, so I guess the the thing about no double digit is just that it I don't know makes it a little bit I don't know actually honestly, but uh but yeah I mean I think that's not uh I think it's it's kind of funny because I feel like this is very similar to the problem that we had I guess not that long ago right and I'm gonna <laughs> cheat again with the same way that we did which is for uh with a group by thing right um because it just only matters by consecutive characters and we just care about it chunks at a time and then now uh we have um i don't know why i, I say g is for the character and then C, t is the, I, I that's how i always do it g for the group really um and t is for the content of the group um i don't know why i do it but but yeah and for here your the content will always be the same because they're the same character and we're grouping by the character um so here we have maybe x is equal to this right so then now I can just do like while x is greater than 0, um, maybe a, a tick is you go to uh, max, or uh, sorry, min of n either 9 or x, right? So it's either you take all of x or at most 9. So you take the min of that and then uh, we have an answer thing and then we append it by um, the string version of tick. And then we append it by G, which is the character or the group representative. And then we uh, X, we subtract it by tick. And that pretty much should be good. Um, unless I misunderstood something, which happens a lot, as you know. So, uh, yeah, so let's give a quick submit. Hopefully no silly mistakes. And that's pretty much it. We, um, I mean, obviously you can do this in different ways. Um, but um, you probably don't even need group by. You can just do a... Do a loop with more if statements, maybe. I don't know. I think, yeah, I think the way, the reason why I like doing group by is uh, instead of doing it that way, which I've always done as well. So I don't know. I don't know if that's a big issue, but it just kind of, because um, if you think about these things as state machines, um, this just has fewer states that I have to, uh, or like not even fewer, but just that like all the states are kind of isolated to one thing, right? So it's one one character and then the states that uh, operate on that character, right? Where if you do like a for loop from zero to n or something like this, right? Or n minus one, I suppose. Um, then you have to figure out like, okay, is the current character, you go to the previous character and that kind of like, you know, I mean, obviously for this problem, it's really not a big issue either way, but it is just slightly, uh, you know, more complicated. And I, I was kind of curious how I did it last time. And I guess I did it basically the same thing. Uh, name things a little bit differently. I guess I don't always use I don't know. I guess sometimes I do change it and I guess C means character for a reason. But yeah, and I use an F string here. But really everything is the same idea. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. We look at each character a uh, constant number of times, once by the group by. Maybe, uh, I guess technically this is a second time. And that's really it. So yeah, uh, linear number of times and yeah and uh, i mean you can maybe say i mean this is going to be linear in the sense that it's going to be x over 10 right give or take uh, or not even uh, yeah x over 10 right because it's just the number of times you have nine things so x over nine i suppose is actually a little bit bigger but either way over n right 
So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.